Okay, I'm just going to run over how we uh, do assessment here at Appleby College within the OneNote structure. So you can see I've got my teacher section group and then a section group for every one of my students and they go on uh, for the entire class. So I'm going to go into one of my students notes and you'll see that she's got a variety of sections across the top relating to our units and then there are three sections that are automatically input into every student notebook. And we've got A, which is the assignment dropbox. We've got M, the marking section. And we've got R, the return section. So she's actually done an assignment for me. So I'm going to move that into the marking section. The reason the marking section exists is because students cannot see this within their own section. So if the student were to look at their notebook, they would not see this M section. It's private for the teacher, so the teacher has a space to mark. Um, and, uh, and uh, correct things and then they're going to present it to the student at a later date. So I've actually gone through and I've already marked up most of this assignment but I thought I would just point out that she's got some errors here so let me just write this in. You notice how the pen is really essential in mathematics being able to freeform write anything um, and uh, notice I can just flip the pen over it becomes an eraser and we've got the correction there and I'm just going to highlight this arithmetic error here that she's made and get that corrected. And there we go. And so that's done. And so now that I've marked it, I'm going to move it into the R folder. And the R folder is for their return. And they can see this unlike the M, which they can't see. They can see the R folder, but they can't write on anything. She can copy it back out and put it into the A folder, so she can create a copy of it. In the A folder, she can make the changes and then resubmit it. But this R section is a digital portfolio of all her work um, that she and her parents can look at um, and learn from. So that's basically the simple process of assessing in OneNote, and hopefully that's been helpful.